Hello, welcome to IF. Let's get right into it. You have seen the conspiracies all over the web and you know there is one shadowy group above all others. These are the puppet masters. They are said to be responsible for all the terrible acts that push the world towards a controlled single system of governance. Who are they? You already know. The Illuminati. So are they real? Do you want to know? Firstly, it is a complicated story filled with truths and lies that stretch over many, many years. Let's go back through their history, which goes back centuries, to the year America was founded to be exact. Are they a real group? Yes, well, they were at least. The Illuminati was founded on May 1st, 1776. The correct chosen name was the Order of the Illuminati or the Bavarian Illuminati. Very little is known about their founding group, but we do know they began life as a very secret society, started by only five key members. They grew this core group and went on to claim dukes and literary men of Bavaria as members. These people opposed the Roman Catholic Church's power over science and philosophy and wished to break free from the church and the restrictions of their government. However, they didn't stay secret for long. People of the time gossiped about the plans of the group, some claiming that they were behind the French Revolution and they wanted to take over governments. Adam Weishaupt, a German philosopher and the group's founder, controlled the agenda since he was made the chair of the canon of law at the University of Ingolstadt in 1773. This University of Bavaria was heavily influenced by the Roman Catholic Church. Priests constituted the majority of the head positions at the school. At the age of 27, two years after his appointment as Chair of Canon Law, he was made Dean. This is when he began to clash with the church. He stood against many of the organization's old values and beliefs. This led him to search out like-minded thinkers who would help him overthrow the status quo. He approached Freemasons, but he lacked the money to pay their admission. So creating his own society was the alternative. He took this group of five and grew their numbers to thousands. Secret societies were then outlawed on punishment of death. Karl Theodore, ruler of Bavaria in 1777, created and enforced this edict after only a few years in power. This was the official end to the order of the Illuminati. Weishaupt moving to Gotha, Germany, living in exile until his death. Or was it? The Illuminati as an idea has stayed in people's mind for so long because many people believe the group continued long after the ban on secret societies. It is said that since that day, the Illuminati have chased the world's biggest players in politics, industry, media and entertainment, looking to recruit them in order to influence their actions. According to conspiracy theories, the Illuminati have been conspiring and scheming, working to establish a new world order a single world government with total control over the planet. The group supposedly has member agents that control everything from movies, music, banks, governments and other of the world's most powerful institutions. All the time spreading their influence, building resources to enact their strategic decisions. Theorists have deduced that other secret societies like Bilderberg Group and Skull and Bones are front organizations for the Illuminati. Many theories follow these supposed non-existing groups. Nesta Helen Webster's belief states that the Illuminati is run by Jewish elite. Their goal is to spread communism and capitalism, helping divide the world, so they can then grab control and rule it. John Birch Society's Blue Book in 1958 outlined the mission of a society like the Illuminati, and then Pat Robertson's book, The New World Order, both Christian fundamentalists claim the Illuminati to be a sign of the coming Antichrist. All things have been linked to the Illuminati, from the death of JFK and Princess Diana, as well as the 9-11 attacks, the French Revolution and many other history-changing events. How can we know if the Illuminati was involved? People say you must find the hidden symbols. Synonymous with Illuminati is the Eye of Horus and the Pyramid. It's claimed you can easily find these symbols on television or in films. Proof of their involvement in many aspects of our lives and society as a whole. 
Theorists have seen quotes from past presidents as evidence, like the famous JFK speech to the American Newspaper Publishers Association and George H. W. Bush's speech from 1991, in which he mentions a new world order. Evidence is said to point to many celebrities. They use the Illuminati symbology in their work. Occult symbols are said to be connected to the Illuminati. The OK hand symbol around a person's eye is said to denote 666, the number of the beast. Can we find hard proof to disprove the existence of the Illuminati? Can we find hard proof for its existence? Well, a 2013 poll found that 23% of voters believe that there is a secretive group which have a globalist agenda and that they are conspiring to eventually rule the world and if they succeed we will fall under an authoritarian world government. You decide. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like or a comment. I will respond to each one unless I disappear. Subscribe if you are not a member of the Illuminati. If you are then use that dislike button. Until next time.